All right, here we go, guys. 1-3B, even and odd functions. Here we go. So an even and an odd function. Um, they're not really even and odds like twos and threes and things like that. But an even function, an even function is something that's symmetric about the y-axis. And we can determine if something is an even function by using um, the, the formal definitions, the formal kind of... <clears throat> um, uh, search, I guess we did in the last video for y-axis symmetry. Some examples of even functions are y equals x squared, x to the fourth, and so forth. Uh, an odd function, an odd function is like odd, weird. It's not really weird. It's just odd. So an odd function is something that is symmetric about the origin. But check this out. Odd origin look they start with the same letter now you can remember which symmetry goes with which odd or even odd is origin symmetry so we would use the same technique that we did in the previous video for finding origin symmetry a lot of times these functions have odd powers or odd degrees y equals x y equals x cubed x to the fifth and so forth so let's take a look and determine if a function is odd or even or neither that's a very uh technical term for something that's uh, neither odd nor even, it's neither. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to um, use a, a uh, we'll just use an informal, the, we'll use the informal way to find them out. If we really want to do, we can do this formally. But what we're going to do is just, well, let's pick a, let's say x equals 2. So we're just going to throw in 2 here for x. And we're going to get uh, 8 minus 2 is 6, right? Then we're going to go and throw in negative 2. All right, we're going to get negative 2 cubed minus 2 equals negative 8 plus 2. Sorry, I forgot my negative there. Which is going to give me negative 6. So notice they're opposites. So this is going to be odd. Now, if we did this formally, we're just, we would throw in a negative x, and we get negative x cubed minus negative x, which is negative x cubed plus x, and then we'd have to factor out a negative. Okay, and notice that we have the opposite of what we had here, right? We have negative f of x, which is what we have for our definition. So this would be an odd function, but we could just do it informally for these. All right, to determine if they're odd, even, or neither. So let's take, uh, let's, let's do this one informally as well. Let's do x equals, let's do g of 1. We'll have 1 squared minus 4, which gives me negative 3. We'll do g of negative 1. So we're, what we're doing is we're plugging in 1, and then we're plugging in the opposite of 1, and seeing if we're going to get the opposite or the same. If we get the same number, then it's going to be even. If we get the opposite number then it's going to be odd pretty easy right odd opposite what start with the same oh <laughs> starts with a no so uh let's go negative one squared minus four and look at that we get negative three so we get the same number negative three negative three if it's the same number then it is even okay even function Again, remember, an even function has y-axis symmetry. An odd function has odd origin. Odd, see, it starts with an O, origin symmetry. All right, let's do this last one here. Let's go ahead and use 1, because 1 is an easy number to use. We don't want to use 0, because 0 is on the origin. That doesn't really help us much, right? So we're going to want something that's not on the origin. So when I plug in 1 here, I'm going to get 5. When I plug in negative 1, that's actually going to give me 1. These numbers aren't even the same. So if they're not the same, not if they're not the same or opposites, that's when we get the neither, 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 neither situation. However you want to pronounce that. Okay, so in this video, you should have understood what odd and even functions were, their formal definitions which symmetry goes with which type of function, and how to determine if something is even or odd based on the examples that I just gave you. All right, guys, we'll see you for the last video in 1.3 next time.